So today's video is finally going to be my fall home tour. I feel like I have been working on my house for weeks. I have been. <laughs> But I went a little overboard, well probably not overboard, but I did more than I normally do just because we have a lot of relatives coming to stay with us this fall and it's gonna be their first time seeing the house and not just relatives but friends as well. So a lot of visitors coming this fall and like I said, it's their first time seeing our house and so I wanted it to look perfect. So I have been going over and over and over with all my decorations, just being the perfectionist that I am but I finally have it the way I want it, so I'm ready to share it with you guys too. So we're gonna go outside first because I have some decorations outside and then we'll come inside and I'm gonna share with you guys where I got everything from. So my neighbor's cutting his grass, so I'm gonna make this really quick, but I just got this huge pumpkin from Hobby Lobby. You guys can see how big it is. Um, and then I also got this sunflower from Hobby Lobby as well and I just thought it would look really good put together. Then also coming up on our porch, I just have this harvest sign. I can't remember where I got this. I wanna say Hobby Lobby as well. And then I have this wreath, and the wreath is from Walmart. I just think it's so gorgeous. I love decorating with orange for fall. I just love those colors. So coming inside, the first thing you're gonna see is my entryway table. So we'll do that first. I already talked about this blessed sign that I got at Kirkland's in another video, but if you missed that, I just got this from Kirkland's and it was wood and I just painted it this teal, or not really teal, I guess this is like, I think you call this like Caribbean blue or something. Then down below you can see all of my fall decorations, love it. You guys might remember this used to be brass and we painted it white. I just like it a whole lot better white. So it kind of brightened up that spot. And then down here, I just have this DW Home Candle in Apple Cider. This came from TJ Maxx and DW Home Candles are my favorite candles. And then I just put these like berries around the lantern. And then I have this pumpkin, white pumpkin, came from TJ Maxx as well. Over here, this is one of my favorite things. It says little monsters live here. So I did put little like Halloween touches around my house too, but I got this from TJ Maxx last year and I love it. It's just one of my fall treasures for sure. Above that, I have this floral piece in a box. This came from Walmart and it has some pumpkins in there. And I actually added in these two flowers. I thought it just needed a little bit more red to it, a little more color, so just added those in. Beside it, we have our wedding picture, and this frame came from Hobby Lobby. I've had that for a while. I have my candlesticks, and these came from Hobby Lobby, and then I have my candles right here, and I still have them in the wrapper because I love how this looks. It was just like perfect for fall. So I left them in the wrapper because I thought that they would look a lot cuter that way instead of just being like the solid candle. But it's candy corn on there and we got those from Cracker Barrel. I love Cracker Barrel decorations. And then down here below, I just stuck this pillow because I thought it added like a good pop of color with the blessed sign. So got this pillow from, I wanna say TJ Maxx but I could be mistaken. Um, and then I got this pumpkin right here from Hobby Lobby. And then I stuck another black and white picture frame down here. And I got that from the Christmas tree shop a few years ago, but I just thought it looked really good to have like the black and white and then the black and white up here as well, just to kind of balance everything off. So let me step back just to give you guys like an overview of what it looks like all put together. I just love it. It's one of my favorite things I did this fall. So I came back over here on this side because I wanted to show you just the two things that I did in the office just to add a little touch. I just got this brown like glittery pumpkin from Walmart. Um, Julie actually picked that out, my four year old. And then I pulled this out of her room as well because um, I just thought the sunflowers looked really good in here. I got that from, I wanna say TJ Maxx or Ross a long time ago, but I just thought it would be perfect for fall. Over here in the downstairs bathroom, I just did a few things. I put this 
shelf in here and so I put a picture of the kids on top and then the y'all just need Jesus sign that came from Hobby Lobby but down here is where I added my little touch of fall so I just put this basket in here and then added some flowers and some greenery and then put a little pumpkin in here I got this pumpkin from Hobby Lobby and the basket was from like a yard sale and the flowers came from I want to say the Christmas tree shop or no, they came from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> I should have thought about all this stuff before I picked up the camera. And then I just added this little candle here. It smells like apple cider or something, um, but it makes the bathroom smell really good too. So it kind of smells up this entire room. So now we can move on into the living room. My favorite thing was the fireplace mantle. Love how this turned out. This is one of the places that I have redecorated and redecorated, but I'm finally happy with the way that it looks. So let's go through everything. I got this black and white pumpkin from Hobby Lobby. And then I got this wreath stand with the wreath on it from the Christmas tree shop. And you can change out the wreath. I have been looking for one of these wreath stands for years. I'm not even kidding you guys. I have been on the lookout for so long and could not find one, but I finally found one the other day and it was only like $12.99. So I got that finally. And so now I can put a wreath up in the house. And down here below, I got this pumpkin. It says gather here with grateful hearts. That came from Hobby Lobby and it does have a stand on the back. So you can just prop it up like that. Over here on the other side, I just have this tree and I got that from eBay. That was the cheapest place I could find one of these. I have been on the lookout for one of these trees for a long time as well, but they're so expensive at Hobby Lobby and all those places. So I went on eBay and I actually found two of them for cheaper than what Hobby Lobby sells one of them for. So I'll link that down below if I can. And then I just have my bird here because I thought we needed a little pop of white on this side as well since we have some white over there too. So beside the fireplace mantle, we have this chair. And all I did over here was pick up this pillow. It just has a gold leaf on it and gold lettering that says thankful. And then I just ended up adding a white throw blanket back there. And then over here on the couch, I have these pillows. I got these pillows from Big Lots. They were only $12 a piece. And then these orange pillows came from Target and I got them around Easter time but I thought that they could be used for fall too. So I brought those back out and that's how they look. And then I have my dresser over here, which I feel like also has really good fall colors in there. Cause you can see it's got like the orange and blue and reds and yellows. So perfect for fall. And then above that, I just have this little tiered pumpkin and it actually has a light in there as well, but it went out very quickly. But I think I got this from TJ Maxx. have over here in the living room this is also one of my favorite things that I got but it's just this little jack-o-lantern on a stand it's got a little witch hat on and I got that at TJ Maxx and then I also put just some greenery up there to add a little more height to it as well moving over I just did a video on my command station so I'll link that down below if you guys have not seen that but all I did over here was just add this pumpkin. I got this at Hobby Lobby. And then I also ended up changing out my scrapbook paper on my shopping list. And it's also got another like color on the other side. So I've kind of been going back and forth between those two because the other side is orange and green. So it also matches with all of this. So then we 
are going to move into the kitchen. I recently added this rug to the kitchen. It used to be in my son's bedroom, but I'm gonna show you guys what we've been up to in there, but I ended up moving it down here since it was no longer needed in there. Um, the first thing we'll look at is this pumpkin. I got this from the dollar, not the Dollar Tree, Dollar General last year. So I ended up putting that over there. And down here, I just have this hand towel. It came from TJ Maxx and it was a set of two in there. Over here on my counter, I have this pumpkin and waffle candle. It came from Walmart. It smells amazing and it looks just like Bath and Body Works, but it burns really, really fast. Here on the other side of that, I just got this picture that says Happy Harvest from Hobby Lobby. And then this came from Hobby Lobby as well. It was on a really good sale. Um, and I just put one of our wedding pictures in there. We had a fall themed wedding, so it's perfect to add all of our wedding pictures in there. And then I got these from Hobby Lobby as well. And so I just added those. I got this dog with the little jack-o-lantern and he looks like a skeleton or she, because we call this our Molly, because our dog looks exactly like this. So when I saw it at um, Cracker Barrel, I just had to have it. So this is also one of my treasures that I just know I'm gonna keep this for years and years. My kids are probably gonna be like grown and have kids of their own and I'm probably still gonna have this thing because I just love it so much. And then this down here is just a little dish I got at Hobby Lobby and then I just put some candy in there. So these are just suckers for now. Um, but I do wanna add maybe like some more fall kind of candy. So now we're going upstairs. This is the only thing I did up here. I just have this table and then I put some fall decorations up there and this is where I have my window and baskets and then I just have some pillows over here. So let me show you guys what I got over here on this table. This is one of the candles that came from Walmart that looks like Bath and Body Works. This one is in caramel cinnamon rolls and I have not burned that one yet as you can see but it smells really good. And then I got this floral arrangement from Walmart. Stuck a few of these red flowers in this one as well because I ended up adding another red flower over there too. And then I got this sign, which isn't really fall, but it's new to me. I got this when we were in Savannah, so I wanted to use that. And this pumpkin, same one that was downstairs from Hobby Lobby. And I have this candle stand. It came from Hobby Lobby, but I've had it for a while, as well as this green ball. So these pillows on here are basically the same. This one is the only one that is different. And I got that, I wanna say from Target last year, but I just thought that that would be a really good pop for fall. my fall home tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, leave it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel and want to see more house decorating videos and cleaning videos and mommy videos, stuff like that. So definitely make sure you subscribe if you are new and thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see y'all next time. Bye!